Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in to day four of a very Newberry New Year. We're pushing on into the 1950s. After World War II, many children's books told stories of much simpler trials. And such is the case with our Newberry winner for today, The Wheel on the School by Minder de Jung. A book that made Nina look at the world from a whole new perspective. Let's see what happened. Hello everyone and welcome to the Maple Grove Library's green roof. Well, six months out of the year we could call it our white roof, but during the summer plants grow up here to keep the building cool and preserve the ecology of our area. In our Newberry winner for today, the students of the small village of Shore in Holland are concerned with something similar. There are no storks! These birds who used to migrate to the village every year haven't been seen for generations. A terrible sea storm many years ago took out all of the trees that made the village so inviting. Well, as you know, it takes many years for a tree to grow. But if there's one other thing that storks really like, it's wheels. A wagon wheel fixed to the top of a roof can make a perfect nest for a couple of storks. And so that is what the children must find. They must search far and wide and in places they would never expect to find a wheel, such as Mino and Giannis's yard, and they must find one fast. A terrible sea storm is brewing, and so they must get a wheel in before the birds are diverted to another town to nest. Each student, of course, wants to be the one to find the wheel, but they soon discover that it's going to take the teamwork of the entire village, including Krabby Old Janus, to make this work. It's quite an adventure, so if you're up to it, be sure to check out the 1955 Newbery Award winner, The Wheel on the School by Mindert de Young.